Hybrid picking is an extremely useful technique no matter what style of music it is that you're playing, but it can be hard to know where to get started to learn this technique. I suggest learning the main theme from this legendary classical guitar piece adapted for hybrid picking. Check it out. Well, hey there, kids, and welcome to a brand new installment of Weekend Wank Shop. Here's your best buddy, Uncle Ben. You know, guys, I'm of the mindset that if you're going to try to learn a new technique on the guitar, what you need to do is find some songs that are going to require you to use it. Hybrid picking is one of those techniques that I find is pretty difficult to find a good place to get started with because a lot of the stuff that you can learn that utilizes it is like ultra crazy Guthrie Govan licks or spazzy Mastodon riffs or even like crazy country shred stuff by guys like Brent Mason or Andy Wood. It can be really hard to find something that is easy enough to get started with to learn this technique. But in my journeys to educate the masses over the years, I have found that a really great one to learn and practice with in order to get this technique under your fingers is an ancient classical guitar piece called Leyenda, which is also sometimes called Asturias, which was written by Isak Albanez. This is actually originally a piano piece that was transcribed for guitar later on. This is actually just the very first theme that you hear in the tune. This song is really long and challenging. It's kind of like the stairway to heaven of classical guitar. But on today's lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to play the main theme with hybrid picking and then give you guys some tips and tricks to lead you towards hybrid picking greatness. And as always, you guys can find full tabs for this lesson over on my Instagram page at Ben Eller Guitar. Search for hashtag Weekend Wake Shop 216. Learn how to play this thing, then upload a video of yourself shredding through it along with the hashtag Weekend Wake Shop. Okay, so this is going to feature an alternation of pitch notes on the A and D strings and some open B string notes that we're going to be hitting with our middle finger on our picking hand right here. It just alternates a picked note, a middle finger note, a picked note, a middle finger note. And uh, what you're going to do first here is to start off with this six note theme. And how I'm playing that here is to play the seven on the A and then the open B. Again, that open B is always plucked with the middle finger. We're going to play the 9D, open B, 10D, open B, 7D, open B, okay, so now you have this. After this, play the 9 on the D, open B, 10 on the A, open B, okay? And that's the first theme that we hear. It sounds like this. Play that three times in a row. One. followed by this turnaround. That's just the 7D, open B, 9A, open B, 10A, open B, and then play that again. 7D, 9A, 10A. So the whole thing all together sounds like this. You got the first thing three times, then the turnaround. One, two, three, Okay, so now that you have your fingers around how to play that theme, let's talk about a couple specifics about hybrid picking. One of the questions I get asked the most is, do you need to grow out like a big, disturbing coke sniffer fingernail in order to play this stuff? And the answer is no, not really. I spend so much time playing bass guitar as well as hybrid picking on uh, the little guitar that I can't really keep my nails too long. So I barely ever have any nail kind of growing out over the edge of my fingertip like that. So I usually keep my nails fairly short. Yeah, let's talk about some of the real secrets of hybrid picking. Okay, let me play this with the camera looking straight down the barrel of my right hand here so you guys can really see what this kind of picking action looks like. <laughs> Some of you guys might have noticed right there that the picking motion that I make whenever I'm hybrid picking is very different than the motion that my hands look like whenever they're doing regular picking. First 
verses. Like that right there. Whenever we're doing standard picking, it's either the wrist or the forearm kind of driving that up and down motion. And whenever you're trying to hybrid pick, that kind of motion doesn't really work out because essentially what's going on is that this finger, or this finger, whatever you're using, that's trying to find, you know, whatever string it is that you're hybrid picking, if you're moving the pick hand up and down like this, it's constantly in motion. So it's losing its point of reference for where those strings are, you know? It becomes really difficult to reliably hybrid pick whenever the entire hand is moving up and down. That's why you'll notice whenever myself and a lot of other players hybrid pick, the picking motion is more generated from the fingers like this. So whenever I hybrid pick, you'll notice again that most of the motion is coming from this sort of outward pinch of the thumb and forefinger that are holding the pick. Do you notice how that doesn't make these fingers change their position? That means they can constantly know where that B string is. Whereas if I was using the standard down and up picking motions, it becomes really hard to reliably find that same string over and over and again. So whenever you're trying to get into this hybrid picking stuff, try training your right hand to make those picking movements be generated more from this outward and downward stroke like this, where essentially these fingers can rest on these strings or stay close to those strings without changing their positions like you would when you use your normal picking motions. Let's give you one more time for the road here. Now that's me kind of exaggerating the motion a little bit. I'll play it a little bit faster so you can see it in, uh, in full flight. So there you go guys, a nice little practicable etude to help you out with that hybrid picking stuff that will hopefully be a lot more interesting than whatever crappy exercise Mel Bay told you to do in front of a metronome for 100 hours or something. I've actually found over the years that there's a lot of other great classical stuff that you can adapt to hybrid picking in order to help you learn this technique and use it a little bit more efficiently. Stuff that comes to mind off the top of my head is like study, I want to say it's study number six from Matteo Carcassi's 60th opus. It's a joyous little romp in the key of C major. Sounds something like this. <laughs> Johann Sebastian Bach's Beret in E minor, which some of you guys might recognize as Classico by Tenacious D. Any of those are great things to help you learn this technique without, again, absolutely busting your chops and trying to learn, like, Pick It Apart by Brent Mason or something like that. Let me know in the comments below what other great stuff you guys have found that has helped you master this extremely versatile and useful guitar technique. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for notifications of brand new lesson videos every single week. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Ben Eller Guitars or over on my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller. Also, don't forget to support me on Patreon if you like what you learn here on my channel. Be sure to click the link in the video description to find details on that. Thanks as always for watching. Now get away from this dang screen and go play some guitar, guys. Less clicking, more picking.